So we talked about in order to move others, you must first move yourself. As you're moving yourself, that means you're, you're seeing evidence of financial growth. You are seeing evidence. Are you seeing evidence right now? And what has to happen for you to see evidence of financial growth? Because you might be moving yourself emotionally, which aligns, and moving yourself spiritually. Are you moving yourself financially? And, and, and so as you start to uncover these things, you know, I spoke about the land of lack. And we are at an intersection. And this is where, you know, we are. We are at a Kairos moment in time. You may not be in fear or doubt or procrastination. You might be earning money and feeling pretty okay about money, which is awesome. But there's an intersection here. And remember, we spoke about the arrow, how your brain moves towards whatever you think about the most. So when you are intentional, you know, this is, this is where you're honoring yourself and you're honoring not just the destiny, but the inheritance that is on your life. You are above and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. You're going to be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Do we believe these things? And so as you see yourself at this intersection here, this is the opportunity now to turn your back and turn towards and not even recognize yourself in six months' time for what you believe about money and your actions, the evidence around money. Because sometimes we pit ourselves a little bit. We go, well, I'm learning and I'm doing all this work. You know, I'm, I'm working hard. And that's all true. But let's, let's start to look at the evidence and start to expect to see evidence. And that means you're going to be seeing sales or you're going to be seeing, you know, jobs. I've proven it works for myself and my clients have proven it works. So, so the time for questioning is over.